Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Ignorance is bliss or blissful. And uh, unfortunately, if you would have a, I don't know, a, a toddler or a teenager being ignorant or even an adult, we are all ignorant in, uh, in uh, certain uh, subjects. We don't know anything about the subject, okay? We don't know anything. But at least uh, maybe some of us have the decency to shut the up. Okay, if you don't know anything about that, say, well, I don't know anything about that, and that's it. But do not accept any BS coming on a sub from someone else coming on a subject just because you don't know. Say, well, I don't know. I can't discuss this with you. Let me uh, enlighten myself. Let me read some books, get some knowledge, and then we can talk. I'm not going to accept anything you say. I might get your information, verify it, and thank you very much for your help. That's about it. You can't know everything about uh, everything or, or even something about everything. You can't. But the problem is like this. When your job is, uh, let's say, uh, you're a mathematician. Uh, well, you should know, you know, the one plus one is two, you know, uh, three plus three is six. Things like this should go without saying, you know. Or, for instance, if you are a a geography professor, geography, geography professor, you should, you know, someone tells you, hey, where is that country, the weasel country, Romania? And if I give you this globe, you should know exactly where it's at because you're a professor in geography, correct? Correct. So, I don't know, but when you're a politician, we expect that you have some knowledge, especially when you become, uh, you know, vice president of a country. Moreover, you become the president of a country you are expected to have some knowledge when you lead. Otherwise, those guys will tell you whatever they want, you are advisors, and you could not uh, understand anything about it. And you can't say if that's a good policy or not. And you don't know on whose payroll that guy is, the advisor. Okay? So then you got to know the basics. Like, for instance, you should know, for instance, that uh, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the president, uh, you know, from the Depression era until 19, 1940, what, when he, he died? Yeah, he had a little uh, uh, incident after he was elected for, for the fourth time. Uh, you must know that at least he, you know, he's got polio, okay? Well, important? No, but you should at least know that. Well, at least I know you should know what the, I know, the... I know, the new society or the um, whatever, the great society or the, you know, certain kind of uh, ideas, policies or something about the Communist Party or something about Adolf, something about Stalin, right? Why? Because if you know something, you could assess, uh, you know, how the conversation goes and you don't make a fool of yourself. Now, exactly this happened with our president. Joseph, uh, semi-conscious um, Biden. He went to uh, Kiev after he let Putin know that, hey, I'm, I'm gonna go to Kiev, don't, uh, bzz, boof, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, go, da, I got it, go. So uh, he uh, appeared over there with the other weasel, and guess what? Uh, our president, the leader of the free world, of the good people, you know, he called the weasel, which is Zelensky, you are a man of steel. Man made out of steel. So my brain went to... To whom? Stalin. You can make shit up. So that tells me that this idiot called Biden does not know that somewhere in uh, Mr. Djugashvili, uh, uh, Visaryonovich, uh, Djugashvili, which is Stalin, name de guerre, uh, means uh, man of steel or man made out of steel or belonging to the steel. So something, uh, you know, like that. But because this guy is an ignorant and he's the president of the free world, he doesn't even know that. I mean, I'm not a president, but I know that. And I, I've, I've been knowing that for a long time. Not because anybody came and told me, hey, you got to know this, otherwise you can't get in the society or out there, okay? We're not going to let you out. No, just personal... Uh, general information. I don't even know how to tell you. You just heard it. It's not something that I... Let's see. Stalin. <laughs> oh, let me now uh, memorize and say, and uh, Stalin, uh, Visaryonovich uh, Djugashvili, the Georgian, uh, he got the name, the girl, Stalin, which means a uh, man of steel. 
I didn't do that. Just, you know, people I was around. Somehow the information trickled down to me as a teenager, actually. So this guy is uh, 3,000 years old. He's about to die. Uh, he's past due, according to the... Not making fun. He's past due. He is. He uh, surpassed the life expectancy for American uh, male. So he's past due. Good for you. Past due. Do, do, do. Poo, poo. Get up. Out. Anyway. So anyway, this is Biden. And he calls Zelensky, you are a man of steel. No, I said, well... I want to make sure that I'm not saying something that it's uh, inaccurate. I'm pretty sure I'm, I, I said inaccurate things in my life and I will say them because sometimes, you know, you assess certain things. But I knew that Stalin is, is a man of steel. So I did some little research and I found three articles or three opinions. And they all have to do, yes, Stalin had something to do with man of steel. Man of the house of steel, man of steel. So um, I will show you that uh, first the article with uh, this great president that uh, we have and we all voted for. This guy right here. Ukrainska Pravda. And these guys, they should know better. They're Ukrainians. I mean, I know they're very close, the languages. I know that for a fact. Okay, and mark my words over there. Biden about Zelensky. Man made of steel. Anybody else that was like... Um, how is that? Where is that? Here. Everybody was like, uh, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> anyway, let's move on here. <sighs> February 21st, 2023. Joe Biden, the president of the United States, has said that his Ukrainian counterpart, Volodymyr Zelensky, is made of steel. And Russian dictator Vladimir Putin could not have imagined a year ago that he would face such a strong opposition. Okay, whatever. Uh, again, this is what he said. I met with Zelensky and we said that we will continue to stand for the principles of democracy, no matter what. I made a video before this one um, regarding a news that Ukraine banned another political party. So uh, democracy works in uh, Ukraine. And again, uh, Biden made a fool of himself because I think, uh, I know, I don't think, uh, in this case, I, I, I know because I think and I got the information that Ukraine banned so far about a dozen other, um, and I'm using dozens for my English speaking uh, uh, public, otherwise I would say 10, uh, other political parties because they love democracy. But hey, they're, they're bad people designated by these guys, must be true. So now let's go to um, uh, the Man of Steel uh, little thing. So I got this one. So he says, who was Joseph Stalin? What did he do? World at last. Now, you can say, well, this is not uh, really a, a peer review, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, it makes a point here, right? And it says, oops, not like that big. So jo he was born, Joseph Jugashvili and Vissarionovich, but they don't know about it. Meaning, would adopt the name, adopt the name of Stalin, me meaning man of steel in Russia. Okay, well... I don't know. I said, well, it's too easy. Let's move on. So I went with this one. I said, okay. I looked at this one. Um, and he says, uh, this is from uh, JS Tor. Uh, this is a preview log, blah, 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 blah. The Russian Review, volume 45, 1986, page 269, 286, whatever. On the origin and the significance of the name Stalin, Robert Himmer. Okay, uh, not Russian over here, okay? And it says here, his biographer generally point out that the name Stalin is based on the Russian word for steel and hence was meant to signify that Jugashvili, Stalin, was a man of steel. Robert C. Tucker further argues that Jugashvili intended the name to indicate his likeness to the similarity pseudonym uh, founder and leader Bolshevism, Lenin, Lenin, Stalin. Okay, and then I found this personal thing here with some knowledge in Russian. I do not speak Russian, unfortunately. Uh, so it says, is it true that, uh, is it truth, uh, that Stalin means man of steel? And this guy says, nope. It is, it is a very clever mistranslation, however. And he says, basically, man of steel in English sounds like man made out of steel. And that's not what probably this is Stalin means in uh, Kyrillic. I, again, uh, man made out of steel would have been Stalnoi. 
and it would be a valid surname in Russia. Stalin, I'm quoting, however, is different. It is one of the names that indicates belonging and roughly means son of or from house of. All right, and then it says here, and that quite obviously does not mean the same thing as Man of Steel, but it says, like Koschekin, here he gives an example, means from, of house, or adorable female king. Papa Stalin means from, of house, of steel, meaning there's a clan, family named Steel, and he's part of it. Well, I don't know, I don't care, I know that this guy is an idiot right here, and it's not a surprise to me, and this is a weasel. So he says this, if, however you want to take it, these guys know the translation of Stalin, okay? And so it's not like they didn't know that this guy's an idiot when he said that, you know? It's just, uh, I don't know how to, it's, it's like I would say, uh, I would go to Germany and I said, well, everybody here is for the pure race or something. And it was like, you know what I mean? Oh, you, you're of a pure race, man. You're a real character, you're a real, you know? If you say that, everybody would think, oh my God, and you're in Germany, you know what I mean? And um, so that's what happens. But sometimes when you say pure race, is like a horse. You know, when a horse is a pure race, is considered you know, a horse that has qualities and all that and blah, 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 blah. So the same, if you make that analogy to a human being in Germany, they will not think of a horse or a race horse. They will think of Adolf and the Nazis. So the same here, you, you call this guy a man made out of steel, everybody was thinking of Stalin. Because in their brain, Stalin is the one, one who ordered the whole of the Moor. And they were the beautiful uh, uh, guys over there, including, I think, Khrushchev and Yogoda and Kaganovic who helped. And why don't you look at their biographies? Please do. Please do, please do, please, please, please. Okay? The whole of the Moor, uh, the, the genocide committed by the Soviets, not the Russians, the Soviets, and Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union. Uh, and uh, look at the leaders. The main leader was a Georgian, not a Russian. Look at Kaganovich. Kaganovich uh, was a Zelensky. Look at Yogoda <clears throat> and uh, some others. Look who were in charge. Okay, who... Uh, and look also at... Uh, what's his name? Um, Nikita Khrushchev. All right, look at their biography. Just the first few, uh, you know, personal life and origin. And you're going to find out how many Russians were there. Okay, they tried to put Holodomor in the back of the Russians now. But unfortunately, everything goes to Soviet Union, everything goes to the leaders, and there were not too many Russian leaders during that time, if you know what I mean. Look in the Politburo, if you know what that is, and I guess you know, and look over there and see how many were Russians. What was the percentage? But anyway, let's go back to this guy. So this Biden goes and makes that, that stupidity claim, you know, without even thinking. And nobody says anything but me, all right? Well, this is it. What can I say? Man of steel. You're a man of steel. You are a Stalin. Good job, Zelensky. You're a Stalin. All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.